And while the former president focuses on Iowa, Ron DeSantis is turning his attention to New Hampshire. The Florida governor taking some jabs at Trump during his first visit to the Granite State as a declared presidential candidate. Both men trying to portray themselves as the stronger fighter for conservative policies. News Nation's Robert Sherman is live in Manchester, New Hampshire with the very latest. Hey, Robert. Hey there, Kelly. Today marks the first time Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is in the Granite State since announcing that he's running for the White House. He told the crowd here today that it only matters if you win. All that matters is getting the victory in the general election. And he says he is the candidate who can end the GOP losing streak. Listen to this. You can't do any of this if you don't win. There is no substitute for victory. And we've got to end this culture of losing uh, that's infected the Republican Party in recent years. So you take a look at the polling that's going on in this state right now. Well, you've got uh, former President Donald Trump still sitting in the catbird seat here with a bit over 40 percent of the vote. Uh, it's going as you would typically see in a lot of these other states with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis sitting in second, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu in third. He has not declared if he's going to run in this race, but very popular here in New Hampshire. But here's where things get interesting, Kelly. Change the way that you look at that same exact polling data. Well, you put all those other candidates together, about 49% of New Hampshire Republicans say their top pick is someone other than former President Donald Trump. So it gives you a little bit of a different perspective there. Shows there is an appetite for somebody else to be atop the ticket here. And you talk to experts on the ground here, they say, look, at the end of the day, the electorate in New Hampshire, it's different than a lot of these early states. And in New Hampshire, he's going to have to appeal to a more old line group of Republicans. There are Trump Republicans in New Hampshire, but there also are very traditional Bush Republicans in New Hampshire. He's going to have to try to pull them away to his side and build a coalition there. Everybody's talking about the concept of electability, but electability means something different in New Hampshire because you look at a state such as Iowa, that's a state that has been rather fortuitous for Republicans over the last couple of cycles. New Hampshire Republicans have been oh so close, but have not pulled out a victory here in this state since 2000. The thinking being if a candidate can carry the state of New Hampshire, they could perform pretty well around the country. Kelly. Yeah, certainly, Robert. Thank you for that report. And just one quick follow-up question. We know that DeSantis's wife, uh, Casey, was big with the announcement. She's played a big role so far. Uh, what sort of role has she had on the campaign trail? Well, so far, we've been seeing her at just about every event, and she is very well-received and very liked among the Republican voters who we've been speaking with here. One even called her a rock star earlier today, so she has been well-received. You see why the Florida governor is bringing her out on the campaign trail, because she is very well-liked. Stands to reason we're going to see a lot more of Casey DeSantis over the coming weeks and months. Kelly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.